To insert a video clip, click on the Add Video icon on the Editing Tools toolbar. Select a video clip and click Open. On the Object Position Settings dialog, click OK. The clip is inserted at the cursor position. You can also insert a video clip by dragging and dropping from Windows Explorer. Drag the clip onto the video preview window, not the timeline. This will place the clip at the scrubber. Multiple video files can be inserted by holding the control key while selecting the files. VSDC opens the files in the sequence wizard. You can rearrange the order of the files in the wizard. Drag a video clip to its new position in the sequence and release the mouse button. You can also rearrange them later on the timeline. Click on Apply Settings. VSDC places each of these video clips into a sprite. You can rename the sprite by clicking on the sprite and changing the name in the Properties window at the right. To see the clips that are contained in the sprite, click on the sprite, then click on the Object Properties tab. You can also double click on the sprite. Video clips can be removed from the sprite and placed on the timeline if needed. Right click on the video clip, click Cut. Click on the Scene tab, then click Paste. The video clip has been placed on the timeline where it was inside of the sprite. Sprites do not automatically resize themselves to fit the media they contain. Double click on the sprite to return to the Object Properties tab. The white marker at the right indicates the current end of the sprite. Move this white marker to the end of the last clip. This will resize the sprite. The advantage of a sprite is it takes up less space on the timeline. Sprites are not necessary and if you wish to avoid them, insert your media files one at a time. Move clips by placing your cursor over the clip, holding your left mouse button and moving your mouse. Release the mouse button to place the clip. VSDC uses a bottom-up priority. The video clip on the bottom overcomes all clips above it. So typically you do not want video clips overlapping. If I place the scrubber here, The video clip at the bottom is visible. It has priority. Once I move the clip, the next clip above becomes visible. You can automatically arrange the clips so there is no overlap. First of all, manually position the clips in the sequence in which you want them to appear in your video. I'm going to delete this last clip. Once you have a roughed in the arrangement of your video clips, click on Select All, then click on Set Blocks Order. 
there is now no gap or overlap between each of the video clips. I'm going to left click in a blank space in the timeline to deselect the clips. To arrange clips manually, click on the adjacent video clip and then click on either move cursor to block beginning or move cursor to block ending. Move the clip you're positioning. The clip will automatically snap to the cursor. Alternatively, you can click on the video clip, then click on Move Block to Cursor Position. If your clips are arranged in a way that seems disorganized from top to bottom, you can move the clips up and down in the timeline with the green up and down arrows. Left click to select the clip, then click on the green corresponding up or down arrow.